This is the Nikon D5600, the company's latest mid-range APS-C format DSLR. It's an ideal multi-purpose camera, suitable for everything from documenting a family holiday to taking high-quality landscape photos and videos. The D5600 retains the class-leading 24-megapixel image sensor and HD video specification of its predecessor. It also includes the same excellent 3D autofocus tracking system. The main difference is that the D5600 is slimmer with a redesigned and more comfortable grip. It also now includes Nikon's wireless snap bridge system to transfer images from the camera directly to your smartphone. The D5600 is designed to be easy to use for both beginners and casual photographers. But the well-designed control interface leaves plenty of room for an aspiring photographer to learn and grow. The D5600 is a small, highly capable camera and an excellent option for a wide range of users. For more information about the Nikon D5600 and all things photographic, head to dpreview.com. Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II offers improvements over its predecessor, making it more comfortable for shooting while maintaining its compact size and capable performance. The G7X II is built around a 1-inch type CMOS sensor, giving it better image quality than a small sensor compact camera or a smartphone. The built-in lens is a fast f1.8 to 2.8, 24-100mm to zoom, providing a lot of reach and decent low-light capabilities in a small package. The tilting touchscreen LCD makes it easy to set up and take your shots from any angle, making it ideal for selfies or street photography. The image quality, especially color rendition, is excellent on the G7X2. Its fast burst shooting enables you to capture the action. The grip is comfortable in the hand, and the control ring around the lens can be set to smooth or clicky, making it useful for both photo and video shooting. Our criticisms of the G7X2 are a relatively disappointing battery life and slightly mushy fine details in JPEGs. Overall, the Canon G7X2 is a well-designed enthusiast compact camera that can capture good quality photos and videos. This pocketable camera is a significant improvement over its predecessor and sits near the top of its class. For more information about the Canon G7X2 and all things photographic, head to dpreview.com. The Canon EOS M50 is a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera that sits at the entry-level end of Canon's M-series lineup. It combines the proven 24-megapixel sensor and dual-pixel CMOS autofocus of Canon's higher-end mirrorless and DSLR models with a more compact form factor and user-friendly ergonomics. Dual-pixel autofocus covers a significant portion of the image sensor and results in snappy, accurate focus acquisition. A new Digic 8 processor enables 4K video at up to 24p, a first for Canon's EOS M range. Full HD video up to 60p is also possible, with full autofocus support and no crop. Despite the M50's tiny form factor, it includes a high-resolution electronic viewfinder and a tilting, touch-sensitive rear screen. The screen can be used to place the desired autofocus point by touch, as well as to scroll through and zoom into captured images. The M50's user interface is intended to be as simple as possible for first-time camera users, without sacrificing the kind of creative control that more experienced photographers will expect. Built-in Wi-Fi has become an expected feature in entry-level cameras, but the M50 is the first Canon interchangeable lens camera that can automatically transfer JPEGs to your smartphone once they have been paired. For more information on the Canon EOS M50, visit dpreview.com. The Sony a7 III is a full-frame mirrorless interchangeable lens camera, aimed at first-time ILC buyers and enthusiasts. While technically an entry-level full-frame model, the a7 III is incredibly competitive, offering a highly advanced hybrid autofocus system, a sharp, accurate 2.36 million dot electronic viewfinder, and a proven 24 megapixel sensor. Image quality from the a7 III is very good, Although it offers lower resolution than some competitors, dynamic range and high ISO performance is excellent. As well as stills, the a7 III is a superb video camera. It is capable of arguably the best 4K video of any product in its class. This is thanks to oversampling, 
which delivers exceptionally clean footage. The a7 III can shoot continuously at 10 frames per second, and its advanced autofocus system is capable of accurately tracking moving subjects across 93% of the frame. Manual AF point positioning is made easier by a dedicated joystick on the rear of the camera. It also features IAF, which can pinpoint and precisely focus on your subject's eyes. This is extremely useful for portraiture. In the a7 III, Sony improved upon previous a7 series cameras by adding a large Z-type battery, rated as an impressive 710 shots per charge. The bigger battery and dual SD card slots make the a7 III a more practical camera than its predecessors for extended stills and video shooting. For more information on the Sony a7 III, visit dpreview.com. The Canon Rebel T6 is a well-specified camera for beginners moving up from a compact camera or smartphone who are looking for better image quality and the ability to change lenses. The T6 has an 18 megapixel APS-C format sensor which provides respectable image quality in this entry-level camera. The optical viewfinder gives an uninterrupted, natural view on the world in front of the lens. The built-in Wi-Fi is reliable and straightforward for quick and easy photo sharing to your smartphone. The Canon T6 produces very nice JPEG images right out of the camera. It's a great value for the price, and a good option for someone looking to upgrade to a more capable camera without a big investment. On the negative side, the T6 lacks features like panorama and time-lapse shooting that smartphone users might be used to. In addition, the pixel-level detail lags behind its competitors. All in all, the Canon Rebel T6 is a no-frills, entry-level DSLR at a very reasonable price that will please JPEG shooters looking to stick to auto modes and share images on the fly. For more information about the Canon Rebel T6 and all things photographic, head to dpreview.com. Panasonic.